Should the Qatar World Cup be cancelled? I've got four bits of breaking news. You watch them and you decide. Just in the last hour or so, we learned that no longer would actual alcoholic beverages, specifically beer, be sold inside the perimeter of the stadium. Watch what happens when this Danish TV reporter tries to do a live broadcast on the news. Uh, we are live on Danish television, and uh, there can you see, now we, are, now we are stopped with film, and that is the situation here. Uh, Mister, you invited the whole world to the... You, you invited the whole world to come here. Why can't we film? It's a public place. Put but this, camera. but the, you can break the camera. You want to yeah, break the camera? Okay, no, you break the camera. You, okay. You the camera. Yes. So you're threatening us by, 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 by smashing the camera. Okay, so you can't drink beer and you can't do news broadcasts. But now it gets really serious. Watch this. BBC investigations uncovered evidence that migrants working on infrastructure projects in the final months before the tournament have died or suffered abuse, despite assurances from the Qatari government that the situation would improve. So just how many migrant workers have died? Well, a study by The Guardian reports 6,500 people have died since Qatar was awarded awarded the World Cup. And it's estimated 37 of those deaths were due to construction work. Here's one of the reasons why that happened. And it doesn't stop there. If there was a World Cup for who has the worst record with human rights abuses, Qatar would probably win the trophy. Qatar has, frankly, what is a shocking list of human rights abuses listed on Human Rights Watch, including discrimination against women, restrictions on rights to education, work and travelling abroad, and even criminalisation of non-marital and same-sex relations. Not to mention their human rights breaches on freedom of speech. And the fact if I was doing this video from Qatar, I probably would disappear very shortly after. What do you think? Should the Qatar World Cup be banned?